going here in three, two, one. Hey there, hi there, everybody. Rob Von Chu here. Happy Monday. We got a six star Nexus crystal open today. Maybe a couple other small things here, too, but I got my fingers crossed they got something new and exciting. Got that unit offer that popped up this morning, which I was very happy to see because it was unit based. Anything uh, that you can get FTP like that is most welcome. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed that that's going to work out pretty good. Let me starting things off here with a uh, shoe shine method opening. Open up some of the small premiums here. Get some of that bad luck out of the way. Fingers crossed that that carries over elsewhere. You know, 51% uh, of the time it's been working out every time. So I will certainly take those odds for sure. Go ahead and wrap it pop 10. But it's interesting. They, oh, very nice. Bunch of uh, two stars there. But uh, it's really interesting, you know, uh, that uh, Nexus unit-based offer popping out of nowhere. Is that something that you guys wound up getting? Uh, for those who save and, and hoard units, is that enough to uh, get you guys interested? And did you get it? And what'd you get? Let me know down in the comment section. Appreciate checking that out, living vicariously through you guys. But uh, that is enough dilly-dallying. Let's open up some cool stuff here, shall we? Just for kicks, I'm going to start opening up a... Uh, Featured five star. I am hoping to wake up my Cosmic Ghost Rider naturally. That'd be really cool. Uh, everything else here would be nice. Extra SIGs, possibly some max SIGs as well. But, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, some extra SIGs on, you know, Spider Ham. Or, uh, honestly, a Daredevil Hell's Kitchen, because he'd be max SIG. But instead, that is. Yellow jacket. <laughs> Rolling over that spicy APOC. That would have been really nice. That would have been really nice. But, you know, some extra SIGs and some extra six-star shards is very cool. Now, I, I am 90% sure that I'm going to be saving up for the next featured six-star. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. See if I can wake up Spider-Ham, get a Mortal Abomination, a couple others. But that is neither here nor there. Let's get opening the interesting thing here. So... Start with a little uh, pet method here. Drum roll, please. Uh, I would love to see something new, whether that's quote unquote God tier or not. I, I really don't care. I'm interested in something new or something interesting. So uh, we'll see, you know, fingers crossed, right? But here we go. Let's see what this six star Nexus pops out, shall we? We got. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. You know, okay, so first things first, <laughs> memeception, right? Memeception. But this actually could uh, could be okay because all three of these champs are uh, slated to get buffs here, as far as I'm aware, at some point this year. So Sentry's already awakened, so he's not getting it. Uh, Groot or Angela? Hmm. All right, so... <laughs> I am going to be going with Angela on this one for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm actually pretty happy to see a couple of cosmic champs up here. Uh, I am, <laughs> I am going to be looking at this glass half full um, because I have no idea what Groot's buff is going to wind up being or when that's going to wind up being or a century either for that matter. But Angela could be very interesting, could be very interesting. So that is going to be my choice. Not bad. Not bad. I will certainly take that. That is going to do me for today, guys. Let me know down in the comment section what you wound up getting and what you would like a potential Groot, Sentry, or Handle buff to look like. I'm Rob Von Chu. Until next time, everybody, take care. Talk soon. Stay safe. Be well, all. Bye for now. <laughs>